Bass Reeves, July 1838, January 12, 1910, was a formerly enslaved black man turned American law enforcement official and among the first black deputy U.S. Marshals. He was one of the marshals west of the Mississippi River. He worked mostly in Arkansas and the Oklahoma Territory. Reeves was born into slavery in Crawford County, Arkansas in 1838. He was named after his grandfather, Bass Washington. Reeves and his family were owned by Arkansas state legislator William Steele Reeves. When Bass was eight, about 1846, William Reeves moved to Grayson County, Texas near Sherman in the Peters Colony. It appears plausible that Reeves was kept in bondage by William Steele Reeves' son, Colonel George R. Reeves, a Texan sheriff, legislator, and one-time speaker of the Texas House of Representatives until his death from rabies in 1882. When the American Civil War began, George Reeves joined the Confederate Army, forcing Bass to go with him. It is unclear how and exactly when Bass Reeves escaped, but at some point during the Civil War he gained his freedom. One account recalls how Bass Reeves and George Reeves had an altercation over a card game. Bass severely beat George, and by some accounts fled to the Indian Territory where he lived among the Cherokee, Creeks, and Seminoles. According to these accounts, Bass may have stayed with the Native American tribes and learned their languages until he was freed by the 13th Amendment's abolishment of slavery in 1865. Reeves and his family farmed until 1875 when Isaac Parker was appointed federal judge for the Indian Territory. Parker appointed James F. Fagan as U.S. Marshal, directing him to hire 200 deputy U.S. Marshals. Fagan had heard about Reeves, who knew the territory and could speak several native languages. He recruited him as a deputy. Reeves was the first black deputy to serve west of the Mississippi River. Reeves was assigned as a deputy U.S. Marshal for the Western District of Arkansas, which had responsibility also for the Native Reservation Territory. He served there until 1893. That year he transferred to the Eastern District of Texas in Paris, Texas, for a short while. In 1897 he was transferred again, serving at the Muscogee Federal Court in the Native Territory. Reeves worked for 32 years as a federal peace officer in the Indian Territory and became one of Judge Parker's most valued deputies. Reeves brought in some of the most dangerous fugitives of the time. He was never wounded despite having his hat and belt shot off on separate occasions. In addition to being a marksman with a rifle and revolver, Reeves developed superior detective skills during his long career. When he retired in 1907, Reeves had on his record thousands of arrests of felons, some accounts claiming over 3,000. According to his obituary, he killed 14 outlaws to defend his life. Reeves had to arrest his own son for murder. Benjamin Benny Reeves was charged with the murder of his wife. Despite the perpetrator being his son, Reeves nonetheless insisted on the responsibility of bringing Benny to justice. Accounts of the incident report that Benny was either captured by his father or simply turned himself in. He was ultimately tried and convicted, serving 11 years at Fort Leavenworth in Kansas before his sentence was commuted. He reportedly lived the rest of his life as a model citizen. When Oklahoma became a state in 1907, Reeves, then 68, became an officer of the Muscogee Police Department. He served for two years before he became ill and retired.